Imagine a river flowing effortlessly through a lush valley, meandering around obstacles with grace and ease. Picture a bird soaring through the sky, riding the currents of the wind without a care in the world. These natural phenomena exemplify the beauty of allowing things to unfold organically, without the need for force. Life, too, can be magical when you don't force it. Imagine a state of being where everything you do feels like a gentle river flowing naturally downstream. This state is called Wu Wei in Taoism, and it's all about acting in perfect harmony with the world around you, allowing things to unfold without you having to force them. It's like when you see artists, athletes, or creative people in their flow state. In this magical state, they make things happen effortlessly, and time seems to vanish because they are completely absorbed in what they're doing. You don't have to be a super talented artist or athlete to experience Wu Wei. It's something you can practice in your everyday life. It's like being fully tuned into each moment and not resisting what's happening. Instead of pushing and struggling against the current of life, you simply go with the flow. Imagine you're driving in heavy traffic and you're running late for an important meeting. Usually, this situation would make you stressed and anxious, right? But with Wu Wei, you let go of that tension. You accept the traffic as part of the journey. Maybe even take a deep breath and enjoy the music on the radio. Suddenly, you're not fighting against the traffic. You're flowing with it and you arrive at your meeting with a calm mind. In your relationships, instead of trying to control every outcome, you allow them to develop naturally. You listen without judgment. You communicate honestly and you let things evolve without force. This way, you're not fighting against the current of the relationship, you're in harmony with it. Even in your daily tasks, like doing the dishes or working on a project, you can practice Wu Wei. Instead of rushing through them impatiently, you immerse yourself in the activity. You become one with it. Time seems to slip away and you find satisfaction in the process itself. In essence, Wu Wei is about living in the present moment, going with the flow, and letting things happen without unnecessary resistance. When you embrace this way of being, you'll discover that life becomes smoother, more enjoyable, and full of remarkable moments where effort turns into effortless action. Imagine you're holding on to something really tight, like a jar filled with your favorite treats. Now picture this. Monkeys do the same thing. They love food just like you do. When people want to catch those monkeys, they use this trick. They put the treats inside a jar with a narrow opening. The monkeys reach in, grab the food, but then they can't pull their hand out because of their clenched fist. They're stuck because they won't let go of the tasty stuff. This is a lot like life. Sometimes we cling to things too tightly. It might be a job, a relationship, or even an idea of how things should be. We hold on because we're afraid to lose what we have. But just like the monkeys, our attachments can trap us and make us prisoners of our own desires. Now here's the magic part. Letting go. It's not about giving up. It's about loosening your grip on control. It's like saying, I trust that things will work out on their own. When you do this, you set yourself free. You stop carrying the heavy burden of trying to force everything to go your way. Imagine how light and peaceful you'd feel when you release that tight hold on things. You'd be like the monkey finally opening its hand to let go of the jar. You'd discover a profound sense of freedom because you're no longer struggling to make everything happen just as you want it to. Instead, you're allowing life to unfold naturally. And that's where true freedom lies. So remember, sometimes the ultimate magic in life is found in the freedom that comes with letting go. Life has its own timeline, often different from the one we envision. Trusting this timing can be challenging, but it is an essential component of living without force. J.K. Rowling, the author of the immensely popular Harry Potter series, faced numerous rejections before her books found a publisher. It was only when she trusted the timing of her success that her world-renowned wizarding universe came to life. Her story demonstrates that sometimes, Success requires patience and unwavering trust. In the world of spirituality, some people have a belief called divine timing. This idea suggests that certain things happen in our lives at just the right moment, 
even though we couldn't have planned or predicted them. When you place trust in this notion of divine timing, you open yourself up to the possibility of experiencing miracles and unexpected blessings. Think of it as believing that there's a unique plan for your life and things fall into place just when they should. This belief can bring a sense of wonder and optimism, making you more receptive to delightful surprises and unexpected gifts that may come your way when you least anticipate them. So by embracing the concept of divine timing, you can remain positive and patient, knowing that good things will happen in their own time for you. Life is inherently uncertain, and trying to control every aspect of it can lead to frustration and disappointment. Instead, embracing change and uncertainty can lead to remarkable outcomes. Nature is like a great teacher when it comes to dealing with change and uncertainty. Just look at how animals and plants survive. If they can't change and adjust to their surroundings, they might disappear forever. But those that can change and adapt, not only survive, they also grow and have more babies. Imagine you're in a boat, and the sea is always changing. Sometimes it's calm, and sometimes it's stormy. Nature is like that sea. Life is full of surprises, and you can't always predict what will happen. But if you learn from nature, you can become better at handling these surprises. Think about a chameleon. It changes its color to blend in with its surroundings. That's adapting. Or think about a tree. Its roots go deep into the ground to get water even in dry times. That's adapting too. So when life throws unexpected challenges your way, remember nature's lesson. Try to be like the chameleon and adjust to your surroundings. Be flexible and open to change. That way, you won't just survive, you'll thrive and find your way through the unpredictable waves of life. Intuition, often described as a gut feeling, is our inner compass guiding us toward what is right for us. Harnessing the power of intuition is an integral part of not forcing in life. Oprah Winfrey, one of the most successful media moguls in history, attributes much of her success to following her intuition. Her remarkable career, built on her ability to trust her inner guidance, serves as a testament to the magic that can happen when you listen to your intuition. Learning to listen to your intuition is something you can get better at with practice, and it starts by paying attention to your own thoughts and feelings. You'll need to become more aware of what's going on inside you. This means trying to ignore what other people want or expect from you, and instead focusing on what you truly feel and think. Imagine that your mind is like a radio, constantly playing the thoughts and opinions of others. To tune into your intuition, you need to turn down the volume on this external noise. This might mean taking some time each day to sit quietly and reflect on your own thoughts and feelings without distractions. Your intuition is like a quiet voice inside you, and it often gets drowned out by all the noise around you. But by practicing self-awareness, you can start to hear that voice more clearly. When you make decisions based on your intuition, you're making choices that are in line with your authentic self, not what others want you to do. This can lead to a more satisfying and genuine life because you're living in a way that feels true to who you are rather than trying to meet the expectations of others. So remember to give yourself the time and space to listen to your inner wisdom and trust that it can guide you toward a more fulfilling and authentic path in life. Life is a majestic river and you are but a vessel navigating its currents. When you stop forcing and surrender to its flow, you will experience a kind of magic that defies explanation. Trust in the timing of life, embrace change and uncertainty, follow your intuition, find flow through effortless action, cultivate gratitude and let go of attachments. In doing so, you will unlock the true potential of your existence and life's wonders will unfold before you like never before. Remember, it's magical when you don't force yourself in life. May your journey be filled with light, joy and self-awareness. If you are still with me, please support me by sharing and commenting.